Although she's considered the mother of the civil rights movement in California, many here in the Bay Area have never even heard of Mary Ellen Pleasant. Tonight, a San Francisco supervisor hopes to change that by proclaiming today Mary Ellen Pleasant Day. NBC 11 Susan Saravo introduces us to a name we should all know. This is one of the few photographs of Mary Ellen Pleasant, an African-American woman considered by many to be way ahead of her time. She came out here on her own in 1852 at the age of 38 and made a fortune for herself. The San Francisco Library is displaying items that once belonged to Pleasant as part of its effort to honor her life. This is a, a, bed spread, a, a pillow cover as part of a bed set that she actually made. Librarian Greg Kelly says Pleasant was a highly successful entrepreneur. She ran a string of laundries and also boarding houses. Octavia Street here in San Francisco is where Mary Ellen Pleasant had a home built with her own money back in the late 1800s. Pleasant also ran restaurants and the workers she hired were the people who needed her help most. She employed underground uh, railroad fugitive slaves. So she was a stop on the Underground Railroad. Her dedication to civil rights is what she's known best for. Pleasant was quite a force in politics, business, and society. Historians say she became a millionaire during her years here. Several authors and now city leaders are hoping people from all over the Bay Area will learn more about her valuable contributions. Susan Saravo, NBC 11 News. You can find the Mary Ellen Pleasant tribute at the San Francisco Library on the sixth floor.